I'm always looking for more efficient ways to do things, and these panic-inducing gimbal movements in the oblique function on the Mavic 3 Enterprise might be the fastest way I've found yet to capture 3D images. Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, I want to start a new series looking at some of the features I've been using in the DJI Enterprise drones. And we're kicking that off today by looking at the Smart Oblique feature that's available in the Mavic 3 Enterprise. The Smart Oblique Capture is designed to help you quickly capture more accurate, detailed and realistic 3D models. During the flight, the gimbal will automatically rotate in three different directions, which enables it to capture shots in a single sweep that would normally take multiple passes. This looks a bit crazy when you're running it, especially when it looks backwards, but the results seem to cover everything faster and also provide what you need in less photos. To demonstrate this, I ran a few captures, including this one of a local historic church. As you can see, we have a pretty accurate 3D representation of this church, which amazingly was created with just 36 photos. I've run captures on this before, and always ended up with much longer flight times and many, many more photos. Fewer photos means faster captures, but it also reduces the time and cost for processing, which is a great combination. So how do we do this? I typically mark out the area I want to map using Google Earth and then export a KML, which I then import into the RC Pro controller. I find this more accurate and easier to do than trying to do everything on a tiny screen. Once the KML has been copied to the device, you start a map as you normally do by selecting the area root, clicking the plus and importing, then edit the plan, and the first thing that you need to do is select Mavic 3 Enterprise as the camera. You have to make sure that you select this camera as the Smart Oblique is not available in all models. It's here that we diverge from the typical mapping capture by making sure that you switch from Ortho Collection to Oblique Collection. And then make sure that you have Smart Oblique turned on. If you don't have it turned on, then it will create multiple passes, as you can see on the left. But with Smart Oblique, it creates just two passes with the second pass at 90 degrees to the first. Now save the plan and you're ready to go out and start the capture. As always, the first thing I did was check that the altitude I had selected was higher than any obstacles and then started the capture. As you can see, it runs back and forth with the camera changing angles constantly. The mission is split into two components. So once it finishes the first part of the capture, it's going to move over and start the second part of the capture. Once complete, I took the photos and processed them in both WebODM and Polycam. And here are the results. Even though the Smart Oblique only took 36 pictures, the results are actually pretty decent. Even when viewed in WebODM, first of all, let's just show you that. 3D for 36 photos. It's not bad at all. And if we switch over to my favorite Gaussian splatting, I mean, the results are even better. And this is all with just 36 pictures. So you don't have to take a thousand pictures to get a good 3D view. The, uh, the Smart Oblique does a pretty good job of capturing it. And there you have it. A very quick intro to the Smart Oblique feature. I'll be coming out with some other enterprise videos soon, so keep an eye out for those. And as always, I'd love to hear your comments, so feel free to leave a, a comment or a question. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.